yesterday uh, in that magazine, which was called <coughs> Miles Garrett, was on that you guys as a defensive line, because you've been together since OTAs, mm -hmm. you're starting to really get you know, heat up together, mm -hmm. and he says it's going to be a bloodbath. Do you see it that way? Pretty much. Uh, you know, a little extreme on the words, but uh, I mean, definitely though. I mean, everybody wants to be great on the D line. I mean, on the defense period, and uh, honestly, it's a, a friendly competition between amongst us all. Like, like seriously, like everybody wants to be. Nobody wants to be second to nobody. It's just fun though. But we already know we got a job to do. Did Tampa just confirm that for you guys? No, nah, that was preseason. No. So do you get a sense that this is a special group? You know, that you're the line that you're playing with. We'll find it out when we get out there on Sunday. The same way we approach it if he was there. It doesn't matter who you stick out there. We're all going to be fish to us. That's how we look at it. Simple. Even even if you pay them $80 million of practice squad money, it doesn't matter. Are you any more excited, Sheldon, about the start of this season than in your season's past? Uh, yeah, yeah. This is one of the one of the ones I'm more interested in. Honestly, I can't actually say that I'm having fun again. Uh, you know, had fun last year in Minnesota. Uh, Seattle was a little rough for me. My last years in New York didn't find kind of in how I wanted it to. But you know, this has been a while since I've actually say pretty gonna have a good season. You talk so much about your guys' pass rush in the front four. How do you think you guys are going to be able to do this? That was a weakness here last year. I, mean, I know you guys had you and obviously a bunch of guys. It's enough. That's enough, honestly. Uh, just stand together. Uh, one man can't do it by himself. Uh, no heroes out there. You know, playing sound technique, te technique defense. It's a good test out of the gate with Eric Henry. Uh, the yeah. yeah, you can say that. Uh, they're more of a finesse team to me. Uh, yeah, I, th I believe so. Uh, not more so downhill like they claim to be. Uh, uh, but they know how to get yards, though. I, they definitely know how to run the ball, but it's just not a not in your face type deal. Sean, is your role much different defensively, you individually, technique wise, or whatever, because of the ends you got from playing with him? Nah, not really. You know, just got to find, you know, what guys do best. And, uh, and then, you know, it's just give and takes, you know. Nobody's stopping nobody from being themselves and uh, making plays. Uh, Tennessee has a brand new left tackle filling in. Can you see that? No, this is the NFL. Everybody's a professional, and we treat them as such. Would you say that the camaraderie and the friendship that you guys have on that defensive line, I see you guys joking around a lot and hanging out and having a good time, does that translate and carry over into playing well together and seating on the we like that with everybody. It's not just the D lineman, uh, the whole defense, offense, everybody. It's, one, not, it's not a clicked up team here. Everybody hangs out. When you get O lineman hanging out with D lineman, you know you can do something right with the team. Uh, honestly, that's 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 something I can actually say that doesn't happen everywhere. Uh, but uh, definitely for us, I let it. But it also makes us accountable. You know, you wanna you wanna do the you wanna do the right thing for the guys beside you. You know, so that, all that goes hand in hand. How soon does that O lineman and D lineman play start right off the bat? No. Uh, not necessarily. Uh, we had a moment, uh, but you know, we got over it. You know, <laughs> training camp basically. Yeah. Got over training camp. Yeah, yeah, we will. Not now. You know, guys having barbecues and cookouts and stuff like that. But uh, you know, if you show up, you show up. You know, everybody had their own things and stuff to do. But honestly, uh, we little things here and there, not too much. Man, everybody, JC, Austin, uh, Greg, Chris Hub, everybody, uh, everybody. <laughs> Nobody's left out of her. Man, hmm. Michelle, have you taken Deborah Lawrence and Daniel Hunter and Brandon Seems like they have really good camps made the team. All the knowledge I own and possess to myself, I give it to the guys underneath me. Uh, because when if I go down, uh, Larry O, you know, God forbid, uh, you know, it's the next man up. And, whether he take my spot or not, uh, you know, we all in here working, so that's how I look at it. Uh, honestly, Devro was more more technical. Uh, you know, he was just a blunt instrument at first when he when I when I first got here, and uh, you can see that in OTAs. Uh, but now he's starting to work a little bit more. He's trusting his body more to do do certain movements uh, that he wouldn't do. He just would never try at first. Uh, it wouldn't even be a thought. Danny, uh, you know, same thing. Pad levels a little high, you know, but that's every defensive lineman when they get tired of. Uh, but honestly, uh, shoulder rotation, hands play, hands. He doesn't know he's bigger than some of the centers he go against, and he wants to do a lot of finesse stuff. So, you know, you get his stuff out, 
things like that. He's starting to switch up and maul guys too. So got to be both ends of the spirit, man. Uh, match protection uh, when he going downfield, uh, quick passes, anything else underneath. Uh, uh, he runs the ball. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's, yeah, it's not a lot. Are you going to ask Odell if Lamar was orange rolls? No, I have my own. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. orange? No, not orange. What colors is it? Black and teal, my high school colors. You guys bat down a lot of passes the line early in camp. Mm -hmm. You talk about max protection passes. Mm -hmm. uh, not so much on so max protection looks. You know, uh, they're going down the field, so it's going to be kind of hard to block a f ball that's going 50 yards. Uh, but uh, definitely, you know, uh, third downs is third and two, you know, three and twos and threes like that. You know, that's definitely in the back of our heads, but we're definitely trying to get to the quarterback. You don't get paid for bat, bat downs. There's corners do, not us. Devereaux's got kind of a big personality. Can you see yes. a little bit of your... <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Devro is his own man. Uh, I definitely see for as him being a personality on the team. Definitely see myself in that, doing that back in the day. But uh, he's way, way, way ahead of the game before I was. I was, I was a little reckless with mine. Well, a lot of reckless. What do you think helped build that chemistry? Just everybody being himself. Nobody trying to fit in. You know, everybody coming out OTA, showing who they was then, and then coaches developing a scheme around us. Like, that's one thing you can actually see. Like, we adapted to Coach Wolf's defense, yeah, but he definitely made some key adjustments for guys to be successful in, to successful in, too. Do you think that that's a little unique, considering all the stars, if you will, like the big personalities and whatnot? It's hard for me to say it's unique, because uh, honestly, I was like that with Rex, with Rex Ryan, and uh, he had a lot of personality on his team, too. He was a personality himself. Uh, you know, he always had his team bought in, you know, uh, always matched his intensity type feel, you know, sometimes, most of the time we didn't win. I ain't no point of, you know, uh, but his defense always came to play. That's definitely one thing. And uh, as far as him being a, what you call it, a defensive guru, uh, exotic defensive type of deal, like a Dick LeBeau type of mind frame, yeah, it, definitely, definitely. No, he's his own man. Nah, he chooses to do what he do off the field. If it brought him money, if, keep doing it. If not, nah, stay off my timeline.